Hi there, it's Melissa from designsbylittlebee.com and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to stitch a design or personalization on the front of a project that has a pocket, such as this lip balm holder, without having to do it, to do it in two hoopings. Now normally when we talk about something like this that has personalization on the front, you have to hoop the pocket fabric, stitch out your design, monogram, name, what have you, and then you stitch the lip balm holder and then you line the pocket fabric with the personalization up in the machine. And as you can imagine, and I'm sure as you have probably experienced, it's really hard to get that line up perfect where the name is perfectly straight or the monogram is perfectly centered just the way you want it. I'm gonna show you in this video a really cool little hack or cheat how to do that without having to do it in two hoopings. What you'll need for this project is your design that comes with a pocket. I suggest a lip balm holder. It can be any lip balm holder style. The one I have here is a new release for April 2021 when I'm making this video. It is a lip balm holder that has a little slide through pocket so that you can slide your keychain key hardware through it. This would also work with any of the other adorable lip balm holders that we have at Designs by Little B, like the ones that have an eyelet at the top or a snap at the top. That really doesn't matter. What matters is that you have the pocket fabric to hold your item in. You will also need a very small design, a mini or tiny design and or a font or monogram font that you'd like to use on your lip balm holder and a way to merge it onto the project. I suggest using Embrilliance Essential software, but there are lots of other options out there to merge your personalization onto the fob before we get started. Now for this project, you definitely want to use Tearaway Stabilizer. Usually in my instructions, I say that tearaway or cutaway, in my opinion, doesn't matter. To do one in this style, you're going to need to make sure to use tearaway. The front fabric, that is the piece of vinyl that sits behind your lip balm, in my sample it is white, you're not going to use a piece that's as large as the fob. You're going to want to use a piece of vinyl that measures from the top of the fob down to approximately half an inch below the stitched placement line for your pocket. In these three pictures, you'll see that I have pinned down my vinyl. I lifted it up a little to show you how far down it goes on the fob design. And then I went ahead and stitched the placement line for my pocket fabric to make sure that the vinyl goes down about as far as I'd like it to go. If it hasn't gone down far enough, you can easily seam rip out those stitches and move it. If it's gone down too far, then you can just trim and you want about half an inch below that placement line, in my opinion. The next step is going to be to place your pocket fabric to where it just covers that stitch placement line, just like we do with any other lip balm project. Now move on to stitch the personalization that you've added. Please watch your personalization stitch out to make sure that it doesn't sandwich in that back fabric. On mine, that's white. I was watching very carefully to make sure that my monogram didn't go through that white vinyl. If you've placed your personalization up too high and it sandwiches through that back vinyl, then you won't have a pocket. It'll just stitch it closed. When your personalization is finished, you're going to remove your hoop, flip it over, and pin or tape the backing fabric. You guys know that I usually use this blackboard fabric that I get from Joanne to cover the placement stitches for the entire project. Usually we say you can use adhesive spray for this step, but for this particular style, you don't want to do that because that will also seal your pocket shut. Now simply run the finishing stitches, unhoop your project, and trim around it. The pocket will be sealed to the stabilizer because of the personalization you added, so just gently put your finger inside the pocket and pull the personalization on the front away from the tearaway stabilizer until the pocket is open and usable. Now for the pros and cons of this style of project, the pros would be that you don't have to do two hoopings and also that you're using slightly less vinyl for this method. The only con I could think of is that if you squeeze the lip balm holder open as I'm doing in this picture, you can look in and kind of see where the back vinyl ends down inside the pocket, but to me, I don't really think that's a problem. And as far as being durable, we make projects all the time to hold things like lip balm that only have two layers and with a good quality stitch at the end, they work out just fine. I really hope this little trick will make your stitching easier and more satisfying. You can get lots of great lip balm holders and small designs for personalization at designsbylittlebee.com. I'll see you in the next video and I'll chat with you in the group. Bye.